Welcome back everyone, this is Mondo All Day, back for another video. And in this video, I'll be doing an overview of Batman 66 Omnibus. I'll be talking about a little bit of stories, the art, and of course, if it's worth your purchase or not. Before we get started, make sure you hit the subscribe button, turn on the support channel, but to keep up today and watch videos like this. So, let's take a look in front of the dust jacket. The spine, well, the spine over here. The back. And I'll do a full spread image of the dust jacket. Pretty cool. All right, front of the book, the spine, the back, and I'll do a full spread image of the book. All right, now let's take a look at what's inside. So what is this book about? Collect stories from the Adam West Batman TV show. So what I mean by that, it collects short stories with villains or, or characters from the actual TV show, from the Batman 66. And some of the stories include Riddler, Joker, Catwoman, Freeze, Egghead, Black Widow, King Tut. And they're pretty much all short stories. And what I mean by short stories, I mean each own chapter or story, it's his own story. Meaning it has a beginning and end. And <laughs> that's it. Some of them do reference one another, but for the most part, they're really short stories. This is probably going to be like my shortest, quickest overview of an omnibus because I can't say too much of the story because if I do, I'm pretty much giving away one story. And plus, there's so many on here short stories that I, I think the video is going to be like maybe an hour long and I don't want think people want to hear me keep talking about this book. But anyway, so, and that's, that's what this book is about. It just collects short stories from the Batman 66, like other stories that they wanted to tell. But I will say though, it does include other stories from Batman's rogues gallery, the other villains I should say. And they include Bane, Harley Quinn, Two-Face, Poison Ivy, Solomon Grundy, Clayface. And I gotta say those stories alone are really, really, really good. They're really fun and very creative. But the other stories that we've seen before on the TV show, like, like I said, Joker, Riddler, Egghead, King Tut, and so forth. Some of them are good. Some of them are, like, repetitive to where you're like, okay, here we go. Someone stole this. Oh, my God, they left a riddle to find it. Who could it be? It's like, really? Stuff like that. Some of the jokes from Joker are very kind of corny. Some of the riddles, it gets very campy and cheesy, very similar to the Adam West uh, TV show. So I can't fault it. But it does have that kind of stories on here and the kind of writing and so, like I said, some of the writing is good. Others are very... But I will say, though, the writing of the other villains, they, the writing on the stories that include that, they include characters that were never shown on a TV show, those are really, really good. Those are the ones that I mentioned, Two-Face, Poison Ivy, and so forth. Those are really, really good and really fun and creative, especially Bane. To me, the, my favorite story out of all of them is going to be the Bane one. And I won't say too much, but Bane is probably the favorite one here. Also, Two-Face is good, too. Actually, Harley Quinn is good too, man. But like I said, all those are really, really good. But for the most part, though, the other stories itself, they're some of them are fun and kind of funny. Others are like, okay, just just get get it going. And others others are just kind of like whatever. You forget it within. By the time you finish reading that story, you forget about it. But I will say this though: do not do the mistake I did, which is read this whole entire thing and one reading per not one reading but in one session per se so usually when i read omnibuses i usually like to start it maybe on a monday and hopefully depending on the size of the book maybe finish it within that week on like on a sun sunday or something and i think for this particular book i don't think you should do that because i burnt myself out really 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 quickly like halfway through it i was done and that's because each story is its own story, as I mentioned. And some of them do kind of reference each other, but for the most part, it's not like a continuous story. And it is my fault because I actually read it like that, but I wish I would have known ahead of time, don't do that. And the way I would recommend reading is probably read about one to three stories per day. I think you'll be fine. Maybe read this whole entire book in a month. I think you have a good time and you probably won't burn yourself out. Because like I said, within the... First two days, I was done. I was burnt out. I was like, hey, I'm done. The campiness, cheesiness, it's cool. It's kind of funny, but I'm burnt out. Because, it's, again, each story is its own thing. And I was hoping it would just be like a read, maybe a one long story. Or maybe, you know, like six issues would be a one story. And then another six issues would be another. No. It's literally 
One story would be Catwoman. One story, like this one, is going to be Mr. Freeze. Another story is Joker, and so forth and so forth. So my recommendation, take your time with it. Maybe read one or two stories per day. I think you'll be fine. Now, the art itself, it's good. I noticed, though, that each story has a different art style. Like, the very first story, it has this kind of, like, weird fuzziness. I don't know if my camera can pick it up. It kind of looks a little blurry for some reason. But, yeah, some other stories have very clear, like, modernized, old-school look, if that makes any sense. Any sense? So I don't know if you guys can see that on there, like, for this one right here. Others are very cartoony, so the art does vary. But for the most part, though, the art itself... It's really good overall, it's just some some of the art does differ. And so, some people may like that, some people may not. Because again, each story has its own little art. So, keep that in mind. The paper is glossy, and I think for this particular book, it's actually really good having it glossy. Because this is very, very bright and colorful um, stories on here. As you can see right here, it's very, very bright. And having that gloss paper definitely does help out make the art really, really pop. In terms of the pacing, it varies. It goes from average to above average. There are some stories on here, they go dip down below average, but I would say majority of the time, the stories are gonna be average itself. Now, do you need to have prior knowledge? No, you can literally get this book like I did. And to be honest with you, I only got it because it was free. Because at the time when I got this book, Target had a sale, buy two books, get one free. At that time, there's no other book that I wanted. So I figured, you know what, Batman, I'm a huge Batman fan, might as well just get it, plus it's free. And I started reading it, no prior knowledge, and I was fine with it. So for the most part, though, what do I think about it? Would I recommend it or not? Personally, I would say if you're a Batman fan in terms of the Batman Adam West, definitely recommend it. You're going to have a great time with it. If you're like me, you are like, yeah, it's cool. It's not your take, not your cup of tea, but you're okay with it. I think you have a good time with it as long as you read between one to three stories per day. I think you'll have a good time with it. Do not make the mistake I did, which is keep reading and keep reading and keep reading and keep reading, or you're going to burn yourself out. Obviously, if you're not an Adam West fan or the Batman 66 uh, Batman, then definitely don't get this book. But overall, though, what I would give it, honestly, I would give it a thumbs up. And here's why. Because even though the I got burnt out very quickly, but the stories that include other characters that were never appeared on television, those hooked me in. I was like, okay, I like this. This is actually really fun and very creative. And so with that said, if I were to read it, like was it, what I recommended in terms of reading one or two, three issues per day, I think I'll probably have a better enjoyment with it. So to me though, Batman 66 Omnibus, I give it a thumbs up for me. Like I said, the first couple of stories are kind of whatever, okay, but the ones that I really, really enjoy the most are going to be the ones that include other villains that never appeared in the TV show. So once again, Batman Season 6 Omnibus, I give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you guys think. Do you guys agree with this book? Do you plan on reading this book? Leave it in the comment section below. As always, make sure you hit the subscribe button, turn on the support channel, but to keep up today and watch videos like this. That includes an overview of Batman 66 Omnibus, and on to the next one.